Hello and welcome to uh, this tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you uh, about a MySQL Connect. So we're going to connect to a, a database um, and then connect to the table or the, yeah, the table that we want to be using um, later. Um, so I'll mix that up. We're just going to be connecting to uh, the database <coughs> basically and in the later tutorial we're going to start talking about connecting to a table and retrieving information. So this is the first of many tutorials. But it's the most important one that you need to do because you have to be able to connect to the database first. So what we need uh, running is WAP um, and if we come to here um, we need to go to PHP My Admin, make yourself a, uh, a database which is as simple as going to home and then create new database. And you don't actually need to have a table for now um, because we can see whether um, you've connected or not very very simply. So I have a table here test underscore connect which we're going to be doing in the next tutorial. Um, so anyway, let's go over to uh, PSPAD and we just need to have an index.php or whatever you want to call it, connect.php running. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is make a variable and we're going to call that, obviously connect is equal to MySQL. So I'm having really difficulty typing today. Uh, MySQL connect. And with inside this we have three uh, parameters inside it I said and, uh, and the first one being the local host or the, the host that you have so um, for example I'm with one and one so it's like one and one dot de um, with my number on it as well which I'm not going to tell you um, so then the root is my username and then the password I haven't got a password on here um, because I'm just running off local host and I can't be bothered um, so then I'm just going to say or die if there's a problem, then it's going to die, and it's going to display. Um, I'm just going to write this error, okay? Um, because I know the code's going to work perfectly the first time. Um, so next thing we need to do is we need to say MySQL select underscore db, and in here goes the name of the database that we're connecting to, which my one was Thorn Web Design. And as you can see here, Thorn Web Design is the name of the database. Not the name of the table, it's the name of the database. So, yeah, we have connect equals MySQL underscore connect. Uh, open brackets, then localhost being the first parameter, um, which is the host. And the next parameter being the username, next parameter being the password. And then, or die to display an error if any of this uh, information was incorrect. And then, once it's done that, it's then going to... Um, do the function of MySQL select DB, which is going to select the database called Thorn Web Design. Okay, so what we want to do is just for um, tutorial purposes, you can do this yourself, but there is actually absolutely no need to do it um, because once it's connected, it wants to sit in the background and not show you anything. Um, just say if connect, which means if connect is equal to true, um, then it will display this, and we're just literally going to say yes because my typing skills today are terrible. And else we're going to say echo no. And that's pretty much it. So let's just control this to save. Pop over to here. I've just tested this already. And we got a, a yes. Okay, so let's change. Uh, well, let's just remove this and remove this, shall we? And see what it says now. So let's do that. Okay, and we get a warning, okay, and it says this error. So it basically can't find anything, um, which is what we wanted. So the or die works. Now, if we stick a um, at sign before the MySQL, it'll only display this die error here. Okay, so let's control this to save. Let's refresh. As you can see, it just displays the error that we want it to display because this um, the MySQL errors are pretty ugly. So if you write a um, an error of you, uh, your own, maybe using an H1 tag and so on, blah blah blah, saying sorry there's an error at the moment and put the date on it as such, then it's a little bit prettier. okay? And people can't understand um, different line numbers and so on and what's the problem, the syntax, blah blah blah. So if you just put sorry there's an error at the moment, the, it will be sorted out shortly. That's basically what it's for. And also you can do the same with MySQL um, select database. Just put or die and um, database doesn't 
told you my skills of typing today are terrible. It doesn't um, exist. And then that will display if there's an error uh, as well. Okay, well that's pretty much it um, for this tutorial. It's a hugely important tutorial um, for you to move on forward to do any PHP and MySQL together. Um, so, um, well, let's. I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial where we'll start um, moving on to um, adding data to a database and retrieving data to a database, and also um, updating the data, changing the data. <coughs> uh, excuse me, and <coughs> and uh, the basically the structure of the tables and what type of information can be put into a database. This is lesson one, let's start walking first and later on we can start running. Okay, uh, my name's David Thorne, I'm from www.thornewebdesign.de. Please subscribe to me. Uh, the more people that subscribe to me, uh, the more tutorials I will do um, and the more in-depth tutorials I will do as, do as well. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me and ask me. Uh, I tend to respond to your um, questions within 24 hours. Um, and if you do subscribe to me um, and ask me a question and send me your Skype name or MSN name um, and so on, I, I can chat to you there online and give you any help um, and, and so on. Okay, that's it for now. Um, thanks very much for listening and goodbye.